Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 8th episode of this series and we have Sanji Saraugi here with us who has been recently placed at the ION Group as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us and before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students of the CSC and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 75% or a 7.5 CGPA in 10th, 12th and as well as the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Sanji and understand her experience at the ION group. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, thank you for having me here. So, hi, I'm Sanji Saraugi, a passionate and dedicated engineer with a strong foundation in computer science. I'm an effective communicator and an energetic person. I've consistently been one of the top five students in my branch, that is BTEC in computer science and engineering. Uh, I've worked on various projects which has provided me a great deal of technical exposure along with the importance of working in a team. So I was fortunate enough to be the only student from VIT who got an internship opportunity in one of the world's largest uh, publicly traded oil and gas company, which is Exxon Mobil Services and Private Technology Limited. Okay. So I worked as a DevOps intern there. So like I gained a lot of experience from my internship, which was one of the reasons uh, I got into industrial exposure and stuff like that. Apart from my technical skills, I also possess managerial and leadership skills uh, because I've been a part of uh, various clubs. So I hold a position of responsibility in both technical and non-tech clubs like social clubs and technical clubs like game development club. So while being a part of these clubs and while holding a position of responsibility, I've organized several events which include technical events like hackathon, ideathons, codeathons, and non-tech events like talent hunt shows, rallies, uh, then mock union parliaments, etc. Okay. So uh, these uh, all these clubs provided me a good, great deal of exposure along with enhancing my personal uh, skills. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all about me. <laughs> Okay, okay, that was really great. Thank you so much. Um, you can now tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, uh, so the company which I have been placed in is Iron Group. So it's basically based in six cities in India. It's an MNC company. So uh, the process basically consisted of six main rounds. I'm uh, mentioning the word main because there were this hmm. little minor rounds which okay. consisted. So the first one was applying through the CDC website for sure. Hmm. So uh, there was also a form which we had to fill and there were two roles in that. So one was a technical analyst, which was client services role. And the other one was the developer's role, a dev role. Hmm. So I applied for the client services technical analyst's role. Okay. So after that, they uh, shortlisted the students and mostly all the students above eight CGPA were shortlisted for the online assessment. Hmm. And then we had the online assessment. So the online assessment was different for both the roles. It was different for the CS role and it was different for the dev role. Since I uh, gave the exam for CS role, I would be mentioning about that. Sure. So in the uh, CS role, we basically had MCQs. There were no coding questions. And the MCQ comprised of all the uh, skills which they could test. So they, it was quantitative, then uh, technical skills which included OS, DPMS, OOPS concepts. And then we also had uh, English communication uh, MCQs as well. Okay. So the MCQ was not that difficult if you have prepared uh, well enough for your interviews and stuff you could like give them secure very easily hmm. so it was that the quantitative questions were also easy if you have practice interview with gigs for geeks and stuff like that it was manageable so after the online assessment uh, around i guess 3000 students got shortlisted including both cs and dev role hmm. uh, then we had to, our first uh, technical round technical round was about two hours so it mainly consisted of uh, the technical questions. Uh, so the interview which came for interviewing me had a good knowledge piece about Java. So that was the main uh, thing which he asked me. Although I code in CPP, but he asked me a lot of Java questions. So it was like, what is the flow in Java? Then about JDK, JVM, stuff like that. Hmm. And then one of the main important things which I would like to mention here for Iron interviews is puzzles. So there's a set of 100 puzzles and geeks for geeks. Hmm. If you go through them, you're very good for your iron interview. Like they okay. give you a set 
of puzzles to solve. And if you can solve that, if you solve those puzzles, it's a for sure that you can move to the next round. Okay. Even if your interview is not that great. Okay. So that is one of the things. So anybody who's applying for IN interview, you should go for those hundred puzzles which is there in Geeks for Geeks because they ask from that only. So I had prepared for that because I knew about it already. Hmm. Hmm. So they asked me two puzzles, so I could easily solve them. Although I pretended in front of them that hmm. I don't know the puzzles at all. Hmm. So I took time to solve them, but I already knew those puzzles. So that is one of the things. Uh, next was yeah about they asked me basic concepts about oops and stuffs like that, and they asked they also asked me to code a question, and hmm. it was a basic question, second largest number, okay. so I could easily code it in online GDP, and then. Yeah, that was all. Uh, yeah, they also asked me a lot about projects. So they'll ask each of the projects in detail, technical projects and non-technical projects. Hmm. So since Iron is a fintech company, it basically asks questions related to finance. So I had a project on finance. So that was which impressed the interviewers, and they asked me a lot of finance-related questions, and they gave me scenarios or related to those questions. Like let's just say if you want to relocate to a house, what hmm. do you think? Where would you relocate and stuffs like that? Right. Would you prefer buying a house or renting a house? Hmm. Stuffs like that. They asked me a lot of questions related to that, and each of the technical projects also they asked me in detail. Okay. So uh, that was all about my technical round. After my technical uh, round. Only about five minutes they gave me, and there was a, another link in the WhatsApp for me, and that was the case study round. Okay. So uh, in the case study round, they presented a scenario in front of me, and they already told me that they just hold up the scenario only for two minutes, and then I have to read the scenario, go through it, analyze it, and I have to answer the questions. Hmm. So I asked them some more time, and they uh, like they kept the scenario for five minutes. The scenario was a basic uh, scenario which included a coffee shop in a college in Delhi. So it was like if you want to uh, set up a coffee shop in Delhi, what will be the price? And there were these statistics given. So I have to analyze and tell if that would be profitable or okay. not. Hmm. So that was the scenario for me. So they just kept it for five minutes and they allowed me to write it in my notebook. So I wrote all the important points in my notebook, and then they just uh, took off the scenario from the screen. And then they asked me a lot of questions, wherein they were asking me, "Why do you think it's profitable?" So if I said it's profitable, I have to also tell them why do I think it. So I basically showed them all the calculations which I had done, and then I explained it using that. That so they were very impressed by that. And then uh, they asked me a lot of scenario-based questions, like how do you think they the person and will market his or coffee shop in the mm. college or these all stuff so they also asked me non tech questions related to that particular scenario so that was the case study round and in the case study round i felt went pretty well for me and then after 2 to 3 days we got another link which was the stakeholder round okay so in the stakeholder evaluation round there was a person from the company who was in a very uh, senior role he was he had an experience of about 10 years in the company so he asked us questions so the stakeholder round basically consisted of both technical and non technical questions for me for others it was mainly managerial questions but for me it consisted of both so he asked me about tech stack he asked me a lot about my projects and stuff so i had a lot of projects in ml and dl so he asked me questions uh, related to ml and dl so it's basically how you take the interview flow hmm. so according to you how you determine the interview so i had a keen interest in ml dl i mentioned that so he started asking me questions related to that so it was basically like that and then a lot of uh, project related questions then he gave me scenario based on my role so my role is a technical analyst role so he gave me scenario like let's just say uh, sanchi that there's a client is facing problem in this particular software so how is you how are you going to handle that particular scenario hmm. so there were a lot of scenario related questions related to the particular role i have applied for and then of course why do you want to join i and what do you know about the company and stuff like that so uh, stakeholder round also went pretty well and then after that uh, we got another link like uh, we got a list where in some 10 to 15 students were shortlisted and all of us were called to velor for okay. a culture fit evaluation okay so there was this guy who came to velor it's because his own daughter studies in velor so okay. he was there for her graduation ceremony and then he thought of taking our interview so we were called to velor uh, generally 
the students are not called to Vellore mm. for this particular thing. So only our batch was called to Vellore because of that. So that particular round, the culture fit was a GD. It was a group discussion, uh, not a proper group discussion. It was kind of a group meeting. Mm. So in a group meeting, like uh, there were, I think, nine students who went together in the first batch. So nine students, we were uh, like sit- seated in a table and we asked us to introduce ourselves based mm-hmm. on some parameters which he wrote in the board. Okay. So we had to introduce ourselves based on those parameters. So it was mainly where are you from and mm-hmm. why are you from that particular place, what do you like about that place, what is the CGPA and stuff like that. And then he also told us to uh, take one location, prefer one location of iron which we want to be uh, work, mm-hmm. which we want to work in. Mm. So he also asked us why we right. want to mm. work in that particular location. Mm. And then uh, that was one of the things. So all of us introduced ourselves one by one. And then he asked us why do you want to join Iron? So again, all of us uh, told it one by one. And then he was the first one who was mainly talking in the interview round. So it was not us mainly. Uh-huh. And then he was seeing what is the behavior because it was a culture round. So the culture values were mainly tested there. Mm. So that was all about the culture fit evaluation. It went around for, I guess, half an hour to 45 minutes. And then, yeah, that was all. And then uh, we had a final round, which was the future uh, fit evaluation round, as they called it. Mm. So that round was in Noida, in the Iron Group company itself. So, yeah. So everything, uh, like the tickets, travel, hotel stay, everything was funded by the company itself. And then... We got the link in the night, the previous uh, night, and then the next morning we had to just go for the interviews. It was like that. So we didn't really get time to prepare ourselves or something. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, so it was that. And the day I went for the interview was my birthday. Okay. <laughs> it was like that. Hmm. So uh, so we had this flight. So as soon as we landed from the flight, we, uh, I guess we reached Noida around 12 o'clock at night. So we reached hotel by 2 o'clock and then we just slept and the next morning at 11 o'clock they told us to be ready. So we all of us were ready by 10.45 mm. and then we were taken to the company and then in the company the interview started from 12.30. So people of both the roles that is CS and Dev role were there and there were two interviewers who were going to take. And the most funniest part about this was that the interviewers who were taking our interview was not physically present there. Oh. We had to actually <laughs> log in to a uh. system and then give the interview. So uh. we actually went to Noida and then uh, gave our interview online. in front of a screen. Uh. So that was the thing. So the person who took my interview was based UK based uh, person. Hmm. So he was, I think he had an experience in the company about for 25 years. Hmm. So he took my interview. Uh, for all CS person, there was one interview and for all there, there was okay. an, another interview. And I think he was based from some other hmm. country. Hmm. So it was like that. So then one, one by one, we were called to the interview room and then we had to connect to the screen and then uh, give the interview. So uh, all the questions were completely, completely behavioral based. So he asked me questions like, mention something which is not there in your CV mm. and then uh, what problems you faced in your life. So we had to explain it both using a technical and a non-technical project. So that's what I did. Mm. I showed him that, yeah, I have my leadership skills as well. And I showed him, yeah, I worked on this technical project. Mm. So it was like that. And then uh, he asked the same set of questions to all those students. So by the end, everybody knew what questions he was asking. So I was the person who went third. But hmm. then he asked, he had a few set of questions which he was asking to every people. So the first question was, how was the travel? The next question was, introduce yourself in short. The third question was, what problems you faced? The fourth question was, mention something which is not in your CV. And just two, three questions like that hmm. more. So uh, that was all about our uh, future fit and then finally we came back and the next day we had our results announced. So uh, all the 15 of us who went together to Noida were selected uh, okay. as like all of us were mm-hmm. selected. So that was all. Okay. So they were mainly like calling students in batches of 15 mm-hmm. and then they were selecting from that. So our batch was one of those batches where it, it was an 100% ratio for us. Okay. Okay. All of us got selected. Okay. Okay, that was really great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into super dreams or anything that you learned from your journey? Yeah, so uh, first of all, I would say that this placement season is very, very stressful. So it's very important to keep be calm and not composed. Mm. And most important thing here is lead code. I feel that if you 
keep coding and lead code it's very important and one of the main things which people lack is the communication skills they don't work on the communication skills and even if they you know clear the online assessment they're not able to clear the interviews so mm-hmm. i feel that if you clear the online assessment once you should also clear the technical you know managerial and the technical interview which is there mm-hmm. so be prepared for both of these so that if you crack the online assessment you can also crack the right. interview and you're done with it mm-hmm. because very few students get selected in the online assessment so that is one of the things which i focused in mm. i knew that i was prepared with my technical interview my managerial interview too and i just knew that i had to crack my online assessment so that is one of the tips which i would like to give the juniors that please be prepared for your technical interview and keep coding in lead code right. because once you clear the online assessment if you're ready you can just you know you are done with the interview you don't have to face rejections again mm. and again so that is one of the things which i would like to suggest Okay that was great thank you so much for your experience and thank for the solutions so yeah thank you thank you so much guys for watching please do stay tuned a lot of interview experience videos coming uh, your way in the next few days so do uh, subscribe and stay tuned thank you for watching